home burglary is something that can happen to anyone. It's a very common crime for drug addicts. Around 2.5 million burglaries are occurring each year, while in the US, a burglary happens every 26 seconds. This is an extremely alarming situation for everyone. So, to defend yourself and your loved ones, you must know some martial arts at least. Welcome to a platform all about combat and martial arts. Today, we'll be showing you the best martial arts that are effective in home burglaries. So, let's start the video with... Considering you live in a normal house and not a mansion or castle, you shall be looking for martial arts that are highly practical in confined places. There are a lot of martial arts that have either a sporting element or require a lot of space to work, not to mention the movement. The home burglaries last for less than 10 minutes, so you've got to take furious steps to protect yourself. As a security precaution, you should never attack a burglar as long as he or she aren't trying to hurt you. These liabilities aren't worth your life. But most of the time, you're not alone and you've got to protect your loved ones. So in this case, you have no other option but to fight back to protect your loved ones. With that said, let's start with our main topic. The first one we have is... Muay Thai is known as Thai Boxing. It's something that's taught to beginner MMA students. It's only because of its effectiveness. It's also slanged as the art of eight limbs. It's because of its well-established full contact system, meaning it uses your whole body as a killing machine. It uses knees, elbows, shins, legs, and hands to cause devastating damage. Even though it was created hundreds of years ago, but even today, no martial art can stand in its way when it comes to damage done and effectiveness. In the past, it was widely used in tribal conflicts. But the question is, how can it be effective in a home burglary? Homes are typically smaller, and Muay Thai works best in confined places. It's because of its delivery of deadly knees and elbows and swift punches and kicks. You don't need a lot of movement to cause damage. Plus, it's great if you're up against more than one guy, which in home burglary is a common scene. However, just like every martial art isn't perfect, the same goes for Muay Thai. This fighting system only lacks ground fighting, but you can always learn it from other systems while keeping Muay Thai as a primary objective. On the bright side, when fighting against multiple opponents, you don't want to get on the ground, because once you hit the ground, you don't know what the others will do to you. There's no uniform and no belt system. You can just show up at training and start learning. The next up we have is... Judo is one of the most popular martial arts. Judo is also a full contact system with the primary focus on grappling at close range. The ambition of this martial art is to grab your opponent and slam him to the floor. After that, you can immobilize your enemy or force him into submission. You'll also learn to knock the attacker's feet swiftly from under them. I'm not even the devastating effect of grabbing your attacker with the force throw. Judo is one of the best sporty martial arts. Sporty? But we're looking to cover some serious self-defense arts here. Well, imagine you're getting thrown at the concrete floor and the attacker has just knocked you out with punches. Well, in this specific scenario, judo will work the best for you, since in judo, you'll be getting slammed on the floor more frequently in a sparring session, you'll be pretty experienced. Judo pretty much consists of arm locks, kicks, throws, zero striking, punching, and chokes. However, it shall be noted that it only works in one-on-one -on -one situations. So, if you're up against multiple opponents, judo will be pretty much ineffective. Next down the line we have... 
Just as the name describes, it isn't a single martial art, but instead a collection and effective use of several martial arts. It's a martial art that originated in the Philippines. It is heavily taught to the civilians so that they can defend themselves against soldiers. Oh, I forgot to mention that it is a collection of military martial arts. And we all know how deadly military martial arts can be because they're all about survival and killing. You will learn hand-to-hand -hand combat, and that defines its strength. In the very first stage of FMA, you'll be introduced to defending yourself against weapons. And the list of weapons is extremely extended, including some of the modern weapons like guns. And to be honest, defending against weapons is something we haven't discussed. It's most likely that the burglar would be armed, as he wouldn't come to rob you without some protection. So, the Filipino art is the best at defending against weapons. Once you learn the weapons, you'll be introduced to striking and grappling. This makes it a complete package of self-defense techniques against modern problems. Next, we have... The thing with home burglaries is that you're filled with weapons. If you don't have a gun nearby, you're always filled with knives in the kitchen. If so, you're looking to use the knives in self-defense, you shall know Krav Maga. Krav Maga is all about self-defense and survival in any kind of situation. It doesn't matter if the attacker is armed or bigger, Krav Maga is the best. It was created in World War II and was comprised of several different styles like Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido, Karate, Boxing, Judo, and some other effective arts. In Krav Maga, you'll learn to apply dirty tactics. You'll learn to go for the vulnerable parts of the attacker. Techniques like eye gouging, foot stomping, and kicks in between the legs are all effective. When the other martial arts focus on earning points in a competition, Krav Maga is all about surviving the worst situations of your life. At higher levels, it even teaches you to handle multiple attackers. But before you consider going for Krav Maga, you shall know that disarming the weapons is also taught at higher levels. So, you must be a master or black belt to use it efficiently. The last one we have is... MMA is filled with explosive takedowns, arm locks, chokes, leg locks, flashy elbows to the head, deadly kicks, and toxic strikes. It is a complete package of self-defense. You would say that it comes with a sporting element, but it is an extreme sport. It's about survival against unpredictable opponents. You learn to defend yourself in the standing position and ground position and will get practical experience. MMA is comprised of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Boxing, Muay Thai, Wrestling, Judo, and Taekwondo. This makes it a complete package from all the effective styles. MMA even teaches you ground fighting. As the fight can be unpredictable, if you find yourself on the ground, you must know some proper self-defense. As you would know, MMA handles this subject pretty effectively. But the only drawback about MMA I could find is that there's no weapons training. Just like the case with Muay Thai, you can learn it from different martial arts. I suggest combining mixed martial arts with Filipino martial arts. Because defense against weapons is practiced at the very beginning of FMA. This way, you will become unstoppable. MMA is good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, while Filipino is good at defense against weapons. MMA is also good at fighting against multiple opponents, which is something rare to see in most martial arts. But if you want to use it in a home burglary, you must be fit physically and mentally. It will consume a whole lot of energy and requires an extreme amount of sparring. But once you master this style, no one would be able to stand up to you. Just learning one or two of these martial arts won't help. You need to prevent the burglary from happening. 
According to statistical data, only 17% of robbed homes in the U.S. had security systems installed. So, you shall install it in the first place. Upgrading your door locks will also play a vital role while keeping them all the time locked. I'm sorry to say, but you've reached the end of the video. Now, don't forget to mention your thoughts in the comments section to help others. If you enjoyed our video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more combat and martial arts videos. See you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>